Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this demo, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the HTML editor, starting from dropping the control onto the form to diving deeper into the overview of design time and runtime features. We'll start with the basic one-page application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET project wizard. First, let's add the HTML editor to the ASP.NET page from the Visual Studio Toolbox. You'll find it under the DX Common Controls category. Or you can use the Search Toolbox feature and type the name of the control. Next, drag and drop the control onto your page. And that's it. We now have a fully functional HTML editor. So let's take a look at it in the browser. The HTML editor includes three view tabs. The Design tab allows you to design your web page. For example, you can type the text here. By default, the tab displays two toolbars that allow you to modify and format the content. Also, the HTML editor provides built-in dialogs to help you insert links, images, and tables. The HTML tab displays the HTML markup of the content and also allows you to modify it. I'll change an ordered list to an unordered list. Now in the Preview tab, we can see the list style has updated. The Preview tab displays the content as it will be displayed in a browser. The HTML editor provides you with an easy way to get started with powerful features. Next, let's customize the editor. Now we'll take a look at the handy smart tag that allows you to configure the HTML editor easily. The checkboxes allow you to manage which tabs are available at runtime. The HTML editor provides you with the ability to modify the built-in editor dialogs. By default, the dialogs are delivered from within the HTML editor's assembly for performance and simplicity. If you want to create custom dialogs based on the default dialogs, then you'll need to copy the default dialog forms to your project first. Do this by clicking the corresponding smart tag command. The HTML editor also provides you the ability to create custom dialogs. Let's create a dialog that shows the keyboard shortcuts available in the HTML editor. First, I'll create a user control which will be displayed within a dialog. I'll call it my control. Next, I insert a simple two column table that displays the shortcuts and their descriptions. Now in the Editor Smart Tag, I click Custom Dialog and create a new dialog. Let's disable the Cancel button and set the caption to Shortcuts. I select the Created User Control to specify the Form Path property. Finally, I'll set the dialog name to Shortcut List and also copy it to the clipboard. Now I have a custom dialog that I need a Toolbar button to invoke it. So let's explore the Toolbars Editor. This dialog allows you to customize the toolbars in detail. By default, when the Toolbars collection is empty, the HTML editor displays two standard toolbars. If you want to modify the Toolbars collection, you can create the toolbars manually. Let's create Standard Toolbar 1 and customize its items collection. I remove some items and add the export item and click OK. I'd also like to create a new custom toolbar that will contain a button to invoke our new custom dialog for the shortcuts. I create a new custom dialog button, set the view style property to text, and specify the text. Finally, I set the name property to the name of my custom dialog. And now we see our new custom toolbar and button. Now let's explore the properties pane. The HTML editor has a very intuitive design, so you can find and set a property with ease. For example, the Accessibility Compliant property helps you to set the Great Accessibility feature. The Appearance Category properties allow you to control the look. The Behavior properties allow you to modify the overall feel of the HTML editor. I can also modify the ID, and I'll set it to My HTML Editor. 
The style properties allow me full control over the look of the HTML editor styles. The settings category lets you control many different aspects. For example, the settings text property lets me change editor tab captions. Now let's go to the source view. Here is the entire code including the custom dialogues and toolbars we just defined. You have access to the smart tag from the source view as well. And you can set the same HTML editor properties as you can from the design view. For example, let's say I want to set the width of the editor. As I begin to type, I get IntelliSense, which shows me the available properties. Now I can set the width to 100 pixels or to 100% to fill the element the editor is located in. Let's view this in the browser again and see the changes. Now the editor allows exporting of its content in multiple formats. And when I click the custom toolbar button, we get to see our custom dialog of the available keyboard shortcuts. And that's it. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the DevExpress website and explore multiple resources including demos, code examples, documentation, and more videos. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.